Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We haven't done it last week because Ronan was not feeling good. No. Bladder infections suck. Yeah, bladder infections suck. So what'd you say it felt like right now? 37 degrees Celsius. Okay. Welcome to the Maritime. We're currently dying and it's humid as fuck. Fuck. So then, thirty-seven. It feels like thirty-seven degrees Celsius so right now. That uh, in Fahrenheit, that's just ninety-eight point six. But tomorrow, it's going to feel like um, one hundred and seven point six Fahrenheit. It might not be too bad because we're supposed to get thunder showers. Like it might cool down. It's gonna make it more humid, bro. It's gonna make it more humid, but it might cool down the heat. <sighs> Let's hope for the, that to cool down the heat, honestly. Actually, if I look at the thing. Uh. Uh, oh, that doesn't tell us the fucking percentage. Uh, just, uh, it's... Uh, it's not gonna be great, guys. It's not gonna be great. No. Uh, humidity oh. right now is only 44%, so that's low. Because of all the heat. Yeah. As soon as it rains, that's gonna be up to 99%. I'm hoping it just cools down everything right now. Yeah. I was squeezing a fast pee, hoping for the best, because I'm a coolie down to man. Even though it's supposed to be like 40 some degrees tomorrow. This humidity sucks. I don't want. I don't. I, I don't know why people move down here. <laughs> like honestly, it's like we we live near the Atlantic Ocean. It is so muggy here. I do not understand why so many people move to here in the great old maritimes of Canada. I'm trying not to disclose specifically where we are. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. Alright. December 27th. 10 a.m. District Court number... Uh, District Court. Courtroom number three. There you go. Fuck. Our brain might be fried. <laughs> right! It's Von Karma! Oh no. My throat. Your legs are cool. That's because all the fucking heat is at, like in my head and my torso and I feel horrible. Oh yes, I changed him to an old man because he and Von Karma were getting too similar. Yes. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna make we're it trying like... to protect you from the fans, but it's difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it like this way so that way it's like 30 degrees that way for the both of us. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yeah, that's gonna work. That is uh, definitely going to work. I just need to lie back a bit. Right. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Very well. Apparently, the prosecution is also ready. Rude motherfucker. Who is the judge here anyway? Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. I'm just gonna try to adjust the sound so we can still hear a little bit of the music while Me. also uh, hear us clearly. <laughs> what are you sulking about? I gotta do your fucking voice. You know what? Stay quiet. It's much easier. Uh, very well. What? Do your job. No opening statements, so... <laughs> Not so fast, Judge. I just wanted to irritate you. I was taking a meaningful pause for speaking. A 20-second meaningful pause for no... Before, before speaking. <laughs> because I just wanted attention. I just want pure, unadulterated attention. It's like that person that's Why? just like, I'm just gonna wait and see if my my behavior irritates you you tell them to stop and then it's like they wait those few extra seconds so that as soon as you go dude they're like whoa i was doing it calm down it's just like yeah i ought to throw you out of this car <laughs> the guy will chuck you right out of this car fuck off right of course a prediction <laughs> today's trial will End three minutes from now. Okay. Good luck with that. Order, order. 
Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Bah! You... Really? Must you question everything? Popo is on the floor. Popo is warm, probably. All and pet... wants the cold floor. All pets are sprawled out right now, miserable. They have lots of water and all the shade, but they're just like... Well, the house is cooler than the outside. Yeah. But it's still warm AF, and we have a lot of fans going at once. <laughs> it will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. Okay. I call my witness now. Right. I didn't agree that I would do that, but all right, sure. I called my witness. This is the wrong person. Yeah, that is the wrong person. <laughs> Try again. I call my witness. My decisive witness to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do his voice. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be nice. That's going to be funny. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's that's why I have tape taping it directly gotcha. underneath my desk. <laughs> Witness, state your profession. I need a lot of water. Mm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm the proprietor of the restaurant, the Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And uh, I also rent boats. Okay, good. I was making sure it was like actually like going past a certain point so you can actually hear me, so. Oh. <laughs> I was like, am I am I being heard? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> the night of the incident. You were in the boat the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, uh yep. Yep I was. Almost sounds like a weird yogi. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hey boo boo! <laughs> <laughs> Please testify. Wait a second. I still haven't heard who this old guy is. Hello? Objection! Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Burr. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah. Why the fuck not? Because <laughs> it's something that will <laughs> probably impede my side, and I don't want that, so I'm not asking for any information that won't help me. Burr. That's just how he is. I, ha I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. That's not set in stone. You don't have that rare. It's always trivial because I don't like it. <laughs> Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. You're right. The witness will state his name. He's like, bitch, I don't care if you're an asshole. This is the law. My name is Caretaker. <laughs> uh, well, uh, not really sure. Yep. What do you mean? My uh, memory. Then you are not fit to be <laughs> just to be here, sir. Right. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Then how is he talking about it? something that goes that far back? Well, seven years seven years ago he doesn't remember anything past seven years ago, but anything but also, afterwards he would. But still. <laughs> just because he doesn't re this makes no sense then, because like his name you're given a name at birth. He can't remember uh, seven years. He's not seven years old, that's for sure. I can't remember anything, anything past the last seven years. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or no, before the last seven years. He has forgotten the last seven years, or... No, he forgot everything. Yeah. So it'd be hilarious if no one called him his name in the past seven years. It all depends on what the fuck happened to why no one would call him by his actual name, but whatever. Yeah. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Uh, nope, that's the judge. <laughs> Similar voice anyway. Hmm. He can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Sure. Very well. You're a fucking psychologist. Right. Oh, trust me, everyone thinks they're a psychologist. I took a class in psychology. 
That does not make me a fucking psychologist. <laughs> Mom says, I'll get you some neck coolers. <laughs> That'll work too. Yeah, oh, she was talking about the heat and I was like, got the ceiling fan on max, window fan on max, ice water still too warm. She did a sad face. I'll get you some neck coolers. That would be much appreciated, mother. Look, anything to help cool body temperature. That would be much appreciated. I feel like my English is gonna be really fucked up today. Oh, probably. Oi. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we? Witness. <laughs> You're like, oh boy. Oh, okay, I have one fan blowing in air. Okay. I was, like, I was like, which section do I have it on? I need this to stop. All the freaking critical role stuff is coming up, and everyone's crying, even though it's like the middle of the game. I'm like refusing to read the titles of anything because I'm like, I don't want to know. <laughs> I was always like, why do I feel like there's wind like on me? I'm like, oh, it's because I have it on the last setting and not the mid setting, which ah. is what I wanted. For, uh, today's stream so it sucks out the hot air and uh, we still have the fan behind us to cool Jeez. us the fuck down okay night of the murder oh, it was the night of the 24th uh, just after midnight yep I was in the restaurant uh, where I uh, rent boats as usual and I heard a bang yep I looked at the boat, out the window, I saw a boat just uh, floating on the lake. And I heard another bang. Just about then the boat came, comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. Hmm, very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. Huh? There's nothing to question in my witness. That's Fuck. not your job. First off, I am entitled to cross-examine the witness. You don't get to object to As a fucking defense lawyer. <laughs> Fuck you. I say you can't do your job. Meh. <laughs> there go. No need for a cross-examination. <laughs> Honestly, out of every single prosecutor, of every single... Ace Attorney game I've played, and I played most of them except for the last one on the 3DS. He's the one I hate the most, and that's saying something because I had to play a, against a lot of different fucking defense attorneys. I was gonna uh, make a joke. I prosecutors. can't. What? <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but I can't. It's 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 not. Um, it's more of a controversial, so I'm gonna. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't. No, I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> don't start controversy on this channel. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> it was one of those things that came to my mind. And I was like, nope. <laughs> nope, no, no, let's not start shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes. You don't get to choose when it ends, you dumb fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I don't want it to end. I say it ends now. Judge, your verdict now. Judge, your verdict now. No! What is. <sighs> if only we could do intramedullary rods and spines, because that's what you need. Fucking hell. Uh, yes. Mr. Wright? Don't cross exam- Fuck you! <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I'll cross examine the witness. It's my fucking right. It's like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, very well. You may begin. Huh? What was that? I don't know. Excuse me? Okay, I remember now. I'm, Mr. Not, bon I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma? Was that his way of alarming? Like, ah. No, there's a reason. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Because it's part of the story. <laughs> Three minutes just passed. I see. Well then, let's just take our time. You may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Judge. That was dumb as fuck. Okay. Night. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. A yup. I yup. I yup. Press. Just after midnight, you say? Yep. Just around then. Are you sure? Pretty 
pretty sure. Yep. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. <laughs> oh, buddy. I asked him, and he re and he remembered. Uh huh. Fuck you. You told him. Isn't that right? I told him information that would make me win. Mm -hmm. Because his memory is pliable. So, wow. Yep. Don't glare at me like that! I, uh, I remembered it, clearly. I did. Yep. You see? Continue. In the restaurant where I uh, rent boats is usually. Is there anyone who can verify that? Uh, I guess <laughs> Molly could. That's not good enough for a court of law. Mr. Wright, exactly what is not good enough? Uh, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. Like Polly want a cracker. Uh, parrot? What happened to his voice? It was different. There we go. Don't be so hard on the girl, Keithy boy. <laughs> I don't even know what was just said. Keith. Probably gonna say like Keith with a question mark because yeah. he's. Uh, Keith? <laughs> The prosecution con uh, concedes that we cannot prove that witness was at was in his shop. Witness, please continue. Then I heard a bang. And where did this bang seem to come from? These nuts. <laughs> Ronin. It's 2021, and I still made that joke. <laughs> Are you certain? Certain? Uh, yep. Good. Continue. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. I figured there was two men out there. Yep. I just assumed that? But you couldn't... Yeah, you couldn't see them clearly. Yep. At the time, that is. At the time? So he saw them clearly at a different time. And then I heard another bang. So you heard two gunshots total? Lada said in her testimony yesterday. I'm surprised Von Karma has shut the fuck up this long. Shh. Don't fucking jinx it. Of at course this he's point. gonna jump in. You yeah. know he is. Yeah, oh yeah. It's fun. It's fucking Manfred Von Karma. I'm just pleased that he's been shut the fuck up for a sec. Just about then the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. By your window? Yep, by my window. Right outside my window, my little shack. There is my voice. There is my throat. <laughs> and could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. Want to become famous? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. <laughs> Without any fucking d disruptions. <laughs> All right. Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me, and I saw him. This is rather important, a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm -hmm. That man, the defendant, was saying, I can't believe he's dead. 
Are you sure? Bro. Uh-oh. Bitch! <laughs> Dad! Jensen Keith! <laughs> he said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too. When you have to do the motions, you yeah. emphasize shit. Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? Oh. <laughs> Did I just fight? <laughs> what? Heart attack? Is he okay? This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. On karma. He lured me into a cross ex exam bleh, into cross examining so he could set me up for all. For off all. For uh, for all that. For all. For all of that shit. I thought I was gonna say for all that. <laughs> <laughs> or I fall. <laughs> Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Well, I think the guy's dead, so. <laughs> the courtroom is glaring at us. Better act quick. Or this trial's gonna be over. Objection. Objection. Shut up, Von Karma. <laughs> Your Honor, we proved yes in yesterday's trial that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. I don't care. <laughs> Mr. It could Wright. only be him. Except it's not, and he wasn't wearing gloves, so fuck off. Are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? And the photograph showing the man firing with his left hand? Exactly. That is easily explainable. No, it's not. He could have wiped his prints what? after... Would he put his right hand print? <laughs> the first game always frustrates me versus all the other games. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, fuck you. <laughs> like, oh, I'm wiping the prints from my fucking left hand. But will... I'm going to re-put my handprint on the fucking gun again. I'm gonna... Fuck off. Just because, like, you know... It makes more sense if I get rid of the one that mean that proves I'm innocent, but I leave the one that makes me guilty. Guilty, because <laughs> yeah. you know. Logic. I'm just. I'm going to erase the evidence, which would be the smart thing for a criminal. To and erase then proof makes it very hard for them to prove that it was you who used the gun. Yeah. But all of a sudden, oh yeah, I gotta grab it again from my right hand and not wipe it again. Fuck off. Edgeworth isn't stupid. You're ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. How would you know? Because I'm psychic. And I like to believe I'm right. <laughs> hmm. The judge is lost in thought. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> lost in thought. Fuck you. Your Honor. This witness claims that Edgeworth said he can't believe he's dead. But his word is all we have. Don't mind me, I'm not afraid. Water. <laughs> I need water. Four liter drug, man. If you were telling a lie, you don't get to finish your sentence because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to. Please, I'm for fun karma. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Man. <laughs> I did that. Man, Aiden cut me in half again. <laughs> yes. Uh, old Canadian advertisements commercials. I already did it. In your court of law, the evidence tells uh. <laughs> you almost made me spit out my fucking water on myself. That's the goal. Don't do that. I got a lot of electronics here. <laughs> You have yet to realize this basic fact. If you think your testimony is a lie, show us proof. Like, I know his voice is deep, but this is more suiting to his personality. <sighs> Nick, do we have evidence? It's no good. There's nothing I can do. 
Are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please? Can you hear me, sis? Please? I need your help. Who needs you? Three minutes was perhaps too high of an expect high an expectation. However, fifteen minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Enough! Fuck you. <laughs> the witness may leave the stand. He's asleep. He's out. Like they're yeah. Don't you gotta carry him out, bro? He's gone like Donkey Kong. <laughs> like fuck. <laughs> this court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defense. Why? We need Polly on the stand. Right. Because Polly remembers everything. Not just that. The freaking like. I'm sorry, but the person your witness was shit. The fuck was that? I think it was a water bottle. It, yeah, is yours iced? Yeah. Okay, that's that's probably what it is. It's the ice Can separating from the bottle. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation. What? Okay, carry on reading. <laughs> misinterpretation of the facts. Yes, thank you. <laughs> what? No. This court finds the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Fuck! <laughs> the accused will surrender to the court immediately. To be held... <laughs> to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yes! <laughs> Who said wait? A nope, it's not Maya. No. Eh? Okay, say who was that just now? Who was that? Me. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah! Larry Butts! <laughs> Larry? What are you doing here? Listen. You just gotta listen to me. I I was. I was there, in the park, the night of the murder. <laughs> Why does one side of my face always do that? What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's his sinking face. What is that pout? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's when I do my exaggerated like, mm. <laughs> But it's like, don't do it. And then just pull the uh, squeezed in. <laughs> I can do a lot of weird faces, but like, <laughs> that's even weirder. I wasn't sure about yesterday until... J I wasn't sure... Oh, I, w I thought you would say I wasn't sure about yesterday until yesterday. I was like, eh? I wasn't sure about it until yesterday. Until yesterday. <laughs> but today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. Sorry, I just totally did like a pop on the mic. My bad. Order! It, it didn't go, uh, full red. Oh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't that. I mean, like, I did a, a, a plosion or whatever the fuck they're called. <laughs> yeah, it's got, it's got a thing. It's a, what's it fucking called? It starts with a P. Punctuation? <laughs> no, it's, it sounds like a plosion or something like that. Sure. I'll go back to the VO stuff. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Order! <laughs> Objection! What is the meaning of this? You're interrupting my 15 minutes. It's called fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Blind karma. The verdict has been decided. I call for for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did. A gunshot. That's right. That night. <laughs> I was sitting here in the audience, listening to the testimony. Then I realized something. He said, he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It, it's just not right. I'll testify. Let me testify. I fucking love you, bro. Way to go, Larry. Good job, Larry. Order, order. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Evidence is here. Fucking... What do you think? What do you mean you don't know what to do? Dad, you've already given your decision! Let me win! I say the trial's over. When he goes from one karma to me, Cartman. That he is just Cartman in a big body. That's literally it. Nick. <laughs> Nick. Nick. <laughs> God, Aaron, you're so whiny. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> This. She's right. Oh. If only it wasn't Larry. To be fair, I don't blame Phoenix for that. Because mm. Larry gives very shit testimony sometimes. Mm. We gotta believe in him. <laughs> he could make, th make things even worse. You gotta burp too. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. That doesn't get any worse. We could not have Larry here. That would be worse. You're right. Okay. Well, either way, he's either declared guilty or just declare fucking guilty at the end. And depending on what he gives us. Hmm. Your Honor. If there is another witness, it's our duty to hear him out. To hear him speak. Right here, right now. What a waste of time. <laughs> the verdict cannot be overturned. Actually, mm. it's a fucking judge's decision if they yep. wish to continue, so fuck you. Grow a backbone? Allow me to speak my opinion. Yes, it's your fucking... You get to say what you want. You don't need to ask permission. In all court proceedings, it is... Our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. Wh what's this? Shut up, Von Karma! <laughs> I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. But me! <laughs> Mr. Von Karma! Please put him in his place. I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now, thank you for growing a backbone. The intermedullary rod works for you. He, um... Uh, technically, that doesn't work because it goes into a part of the bone that has marrow. And that's where your spinal cord is, so that doesn't make sense. But you know what I mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're using my what? Yes. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. It, it, it. What? Yeah. The court will adjourn for five minutes to recess. Five minute recess. <laughs> After that, we will hear this new witness. <laughs> I feel guilty all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Court is adjourned. Larry is like the fucking lovable idiot. Yeah. That sometimes you want to punch in the face for ruining your court proceedings because a lot he's in a lot of fucking court proceedings. He's the combo. You don't want him to. He's the combo of Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, December 27th, 1028 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Two. That was too close. Sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. How did I forget about his voice? Like, I know what it it's is. It's like Liveth. No, I know what it is, but like, I completely forgot I would have to do him today. So I'm, I was just like, oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're su you were sweating bullets. I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Yes. Right, he was fishing for the <laughs> yeah, steel the samurai. samurai balloon. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Alright. Santa Claus. <laughs> and he caught the balloon in, in the air tent that night. 
-hmm. I said it wrong. But it made sense. Like, I, I said it properly, but the way I said it was, yeah. was more qu should have been more questioning. Yes. Okay. Hey, Edward. Oh, that's weird with this voice. Okay. Huh? You say something right? That seems yeah, that seems far too inaccurate for him. Yeah, a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? Why did I want to do the judge? <laughs> I don't know. Why did you want to do the judge? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, man. Accents are blurring together. It's weird. I've just got to get in the. There we go. I've got to get into the the. Headspace for Liveth slash Edgeworth. It's it's nothing. Hmm? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why your fingerprints on the murder weapon? That's actually a good question, Maya. Good job. Oh. You probably picked it up by accident because he was like, "What the fuck just happened?" When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. I see. Right. Yeah? This might be our only ch be our chance. Our chance? Von Karma has only ever run perfect trials. That's true, he's probably frazzled to shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is it now? Still 37? Yeah. It's still 37. 37. <laughs> 37. Um, I'm waiting for it to cool down so I can reverse the flow. Uh, cool. So it's a blow inside. Which will probably only be when I go to bed. Ye. Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses. Uh, perfectly complete. Complete. <laughs> complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. He's had to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. And that someone is Larry. <laughs> Larry! <laughs> He's our linchpin. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna fuck him over real bad. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? Oh, I thought there was a question, like, full of holes, right? <laughs> That's right, Nick. No time to try this time. Nope. This will miss. We'll milk this one for all the work. All it's worth. I can't. Nope. It's all good. It's all good. It's almost 40 no. degrees today. Fuck it. Give me a second. I'm going to try again. <sighs> no time in. <laughs> it's a star, Dusty. Ah, ah, the ah, fucking ah. show. Ah. No time in trials this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. Go. We got there it. There we go. <laughs> hey, it was 15 minutes. 15. Everything's on Larry now. Oh my boy. Oh my oh. god, he is dead. He has been drooling all day too because of the panting. Yeah. So I tried to get up and I almost slipped because there was a puddle of drool. Oh no! Yeah, he was sleeping on the floor because it's colder and I stepped down and I almost slipped. I was just like, oh god. Oh. <laughs> Court is now back in session. Nick. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's it too warm. warm. Oh. Like, buddy, you should come closer. Move, move the pillow. Come on, there's a fan over here. Phone, why are you still on? Shut up. <laughs> You're still on. Shut up. <laughs> it can't even respond Lie to down, me. But but shut up. There we go. There we go. There's a fan. Hi. Hello, my boy. Hi, Hi buddy. Hello. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on, bud. Hello. Hi. Come here. Come on. 
Aww. No, he's like, I'm too fucking warm. That's okay. Aww, buddy. Hello. Aw, buddy. Yeah, his forehead got a little sweat. He's about to water, though. Okay. About to water, please. I feel like we need to just shove him in, like, a cold bath. Or, like, a cool bath. Just get him to sit in the tub or something. Oh, he's liking the fan. Oh, is it good? He's like, oh my god, there's a fan over here. Shit. <laughs> good, eh? He's a good boy. I doubt. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Like there's wind here. Closer. Closer to the fan. All right. Uh, did you read this? Uh, yes. Oh, just like. Okay. <laughs> mum. <laughs> Your mum. My mum. Witness. Please testify to the court about everything that you saw. On the night of December 24th. I'll leave Larry to fucking you. <laughs> right, leave it to me. Please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I hate to admit it, but you're a last chance. Me. <laughs> uh, way too uh, hot. We're just streaming. Uh, with all the fans. With a bunch of fans. Bunch of fans on us. Yeah. On is. On us. This is going to be dying my hair day. <laughs> I, uh, I shaved it. I'm so happy I got my hair cut now. <laughs> It is so much cooler. I'm glad mine's finally long enough to tie back. Remember last summer when it was just slightly too it was short? Like, I think it was like mid neck. I yeah, think. so it was just like a scarf. And you're like, oh. <laughs> I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. Oh my god. Oh shit. Here out we of go. the murder. That night, I was out on a boat at the uh, in a boat on the lake. I was looking for something, I, uh, and I found it. <laughs> so I quietly slipped the, uh, why can't I do his voice? What the fuck? There we go. <laughs> so I quietly slipped the boat back in at the rental shop's dock. Was, did you say I can't believe he's dead? Like, were you talking about the samurai? Fucking hell. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went up single gunshot. What the fuck, man? Single gunshot. Then I went home. Well, the question is, when did he show up? Yeah. Was it during the first gunshot or was it during the second gunshot? Hmm. And I feel like it's probably during the first gunshot. Yeah. When there was no boat on the lake. So something happened. With no boat on the lake. <laughs> hmm. That was, a, that was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. <laughs> uh, Larry. I don't think admitting that testimonies are vague in your court is a good thing. In any case, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. So many holes. Great. <laughs> What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. That's fair. It's Larry. Hmm. Well, we come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. Night of the murder. That night, I was out on the boat on the lake. On, in a boat on the lake. Oh, Something wrong, Mr. Wright? There were so many things wrong, I don't know where to begin. Ah. <laughs> um, well, okay. First of all, what time was it? Oh, it was after 11, when, when I was out in the boat. But by the time everyone had gone home for the... Uh, oh, by that time, everyone had gone home for the night. So I waited until the coast was clear, so to speak. Why were you out on a boat at such a late hour? I was 
looking for something and I are found it. I are found it. <laughs> looking for something? Uh, yeah. Mr. Butts, what was it you were looking for? What the witness is searching for is irrelevant. Most likely, he was hunting for this Gertie. Uh, no. That's Not in surprisingly close to the truth, in a sense. This that, is that, actually, yeah, because at the end, yeah. Gertie was the still Simon. Yeah. This is all irrelevant. Let's get this, uh, get it over with. So I quietly slipped the boat back in the rental, uh, rental shop. 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 Ru uh, Rob, right? <laughs> Around what time was that? Uh, well, let's see. I figure I was out searching for about an hour. I guess it was around 12? Yeah. You're not sure? Listen, bro, I don't know when I have lunch, okay? I'm not judging butts for this one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't give me that face. I'm not some sort of human sundial, okay? People use watches these days, Larry. Mind you, that makes sense during that time. Yeah, phones, but back then, watches. Yeah, back then it was more digital watches or analog watches. Nowadays, everyone has a phone, everyone has time on their phone. I remember I got my parents matching analog watches for their anniversary. That's cute. <laughs> they were like rose gold and I thought they were freaking awesome. Even my dad was like, oh, this is actually really cool. <laughs> my dad loves that shit. And so I was like, I don't know if they're gonna be like, ew, this is disgusting and garish or really cute. And they were both like, holy shit. <laughs> You actually got us, like, something we'll use, and it looks cool. Yeah. I was like, yay, good sun, sun award. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. Where did the sound come from? Yeah, well, I wasn't too sure about that. I looked around, you know? Did you look at the lake? Yeah, I looked. Over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. <laughs> Wasn't there a boat on the lake? Order! Order! Well, Mr. Butts. Whoa, whoa! Everybody just calm down, okay? I feel like this would be me as a medic, but I feel like it would kind of fucking work. I'd be obnoxious as fuck, but if you broke your leg, and there were like 12 people spazzing around you and I was sure like, bros, bros, we know how to fix this. We know what to do. We'll get her on the stretcher once we make sure she's safe. We'll check her pulse, it's all good. She'll be right as rain in like three weeks. Ronan, if you ever do a fucking character, please do that. Like a paramedic character, <laughs> do that. That'd be fucking hilarious. Just some surfer paramedic, dude. Well, like, it, could it you would imagine the, it would how be the least likeliest person you yeah, would yeah. think of, and then you'd be like, "But just think of how chill it would be. Like, I'd show up, but no one would give a shit because I got oh a chill God. vibe." Okay, I was like, "You're kind of reminding me of a different character from a show I was watching a while back." I'm like, "Yeah, now I remember who." Fucking Ricky Matsui in fucking Dimension Twenty. I have no idea who the fuck that is, but that's cool. That's pretty rad. The the character was Ricky Mat. The character's name was Ricky Matsui. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, from Dimension 20, where it's uh, what would happen if New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. Had it's the DD thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember but, that. I didn't remember and, the voice. Um, Ricky was the firefighter, Paladin. Mm. Yeah. Oh, boy. I mean, it was, real, it was real foggy that night. I'm not sure uh, whether there was a boat out there or not. Okay, no problem. That's just the most important part of this case. <laughs> so after I heard a single gunshot, I went home. So you only heard one... <laughs> I love how every time it says bang, it's like, you only heard one... <laughs> you only heard one bang? You only heard one bang, correct? Yeah. It was a pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? 
I guess we should just start working on the contradictions. Yeah, the two gunshots. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I wish I could just call my sister. I wish I could call my sister. Okay, I know what it is. It's just two gunshots. Uh, present. Present. Okay, let me just read this. Polly! Two gunshots after midnight. It's probably her testimony. He probably would have heard the second one then, because the yes. first time it got taken. Yeah, so this one was at 115 and this one's at 1215. Yeah. So he would have heard the one. Then there's a missing contradiction somewhere it's because yeah. he only heard one and they weren't that far apart. No. Probably this one. Objection! Yeah, it is. Music stops. Wait a sec, Larry. What? You only heard one bang. You sure? That's what I said. <laughs> I love her face. But Miss Lotta Hart. <laughs> but Miss Lotta Hart testified yesterday that she heard two bangs. And the old man just now said the same thing. They both heard two gunshots that night. Huh? Were you even... <laughs> were you even listening? Were you even listening? <laughs> were you paying attention at all to what, the, to what they said? Yo, Nick, please! Huh? You know, something's been bothering me. I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer- Oh, no! Larry! <laughs> Stop it! <sighs> Here it goes! So you get to <laughs> You gotta treat me nice and stuff, okay? <laughs> Shut up, Larry! <laughs> I'm with Nick. Larry. That almost oh, turned into a Floki laugh. What? Floki, it's a character from Vikings, but he's like super out there and everything. And whenever he'll go from like a super serious face yeah. to randomly just like, <laughs> like I fuck, <laughs> I'll show it to you. I you fucking like a little schoolgirl. Oh, he's fucking amazing. His actor's wonderful. He's a sweetheart. Uh. Mr. Butts. What? You only heard one gunshot. Are you sure? Um, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Huh? Not sure? How could you not be sure? Yeah, well, I, uh, might have missed the other gunshot. I was, uh, listening to something else. I was kind of watching porn, you know? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Something else? My radio, dude. With my headphones. What? <laughs> Why has this become a thing now? Because it's fun. My, my what has become a thing in this series. Order! Order! And stop that booing! <laughs> Mr. Butts! You were listening to the radio with your headphones. Yeah, so what? Is that a... Is that a crime? No, but... I listen to my radio. Everyone listens to the radio. What's the big deal? Toy switch, toy switch. It's an important fucking piece of information, you dick. Hmm. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? Why are you asking him? Ah! Waste of time. I do not accept this witness, nor his shoddy testimony. Hmm. Larry. Well, Mr. Wright, should he continue? Yes! Yes. It's literally my only <laughs> witness. Your Honor, please. Please allow the witness to continue his testimony. Bah. 
Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's lost. I'm trying something, bitch. Very well, Mr. Butts. Please give your testimony and be sure to include details li like your radio. Right, leave it to me. My thumb looks like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to that. I wouldn't if there were any way out of this, believe me. Come on, there, you gave me something. It's lonely, being alone on Christmas Eve. That's why I'm listening to all an all request show on the radio, see? I was listening to it like listening to it real booming loud Le like okay real booming loud like i hate that so much <laughs> the game was made in like 2004 mm -hmm. so. i feel like regardless of gender this is who pink was singing about when she made stupid girl <laughs> larry's the stupid girl <laughs> you know what my best memory about that song is what? my dad used to sing it in the shower we would be walking down the hallway. My dad's like six foot one, six foot two, something like that. He's about my dad's height, six foot two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just walking down the hall. The shower's going, you just hear, I don't want to be a stupid girl. I was like, not going to say a word. Going to leave dad? him alone to that. My dad? Oh, my goodness. But I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it too, which will give us a timestamp. Yeah. You were listening to your radio at high volume? Yeah, what's the big problem? Gorsh. Gorsh? Gorsh. <laughs> Can a man listen to his radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? Japan America. <laughs> Jap <laughs> That's the joke, it's Japan America. <laughs> I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. Judge. <laughs> oh, that oh, driving me nuts. <laughs> Can you believe a word this witness is say this witness says? Oh god, what am I know? <laughs> How? I didn't even laugh. You breathe out. Oh god. What he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat from the radio. Yeah, because you can totally tell that. Fucking from, from the DJ saying something in the middle of it. Fuck off. True enough. It is difficult to believe his testimony. Objection! Shut up, a, the both of you. There's also a very clear difference between a gunshot and, and drum. a drum. Fuck. Wait, Your Honor. The witness says he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Which means no music. Excuse me? DJ, I am old, do not comprehend the young man language. You young people Disc and... Disc jockey! <laughs> what is a... Radio personality! <laughs> you got old. Like Alistair. An announcer, the guy who says things on the radio. Like that. <laughs> anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What this means is he... When he heard the sound, no music was playing. 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 P L E E N G. No music was playing. Playing. <laughs> playing. <laughs> Woof. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross examine the witness, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Wright. I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. Charade, however you want to say charade. it. Charade. Charade. Doesn't matter, you can say it either way. <laughs> Charade, charade, papal. What, Larry Hurt? It's only being alone on Christmas Eve. We're gonna skip that. Oh. Bah! Bah! Okay. I know what I need to know. Oh, this. What did she say? <laughs> Fuck you! Again, she said, shut up! <laughs> Mr. Wright? There, it's deep again, right? Please get, seize these pointless questions. 
Stop your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what possible good could knowing what radio DJ what a radio DJ said to us do us I can English indeed Mr. Von Karma has a point it's not the voice it's the timestamp of the voice we should care we should care your honor of course we should why fuck you uh... <laughs> why fuck you that's why <laughs> Well, that fucking smile. How do you know if we don't ask, huh? Fine, very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? This will give us timestamp. Just when she said, hey, it's almost Christmas. In other words, it's the 1150 something. Ta-da. Are you sure? Of course I am. She said... She had this real sexy voice. I mean, that is how he would remember. Hmm. Maybe Von Karma was right. I'm not sure how that helped us at all. Time stamp! Come on, man! Yeah. This is the most ludicrous testimony I've ever heard. But there is one gleaming ray of hope in there. I've got to press it until we get to the bottom of what happened. After midnight. And one of the shots was not though. Like motherfucker, where's the button? Mm -hmm. uh, sure. This will be really quick. Okay. There we go. Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with that face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy, even though I look like I'm constantly ready to be shot. <laughs> yep. Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor. Did you hear what the witness just said? <laughs> oh, Larry. The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas when he heard the gunshot. <laughs> Indeed. And I'm as... Dumb as a fucking sack of bricks, apparently. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Do you realize what this means? Third gunshot. When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. Oh shit, you're right. That would seem to be the case, yes. Holy fuck. Dumbass. But that contradicts the two testimonies we, we've heard so far, Your Honor. Both Miss Hart and the old man said it was after midnight when they heard the shots. In other words, when they heard the gunshots, it was already Christmas. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. In other words, where did this third shot come from? Oh wait, there's three bullets missing in the fucking gun. Woohoo! Order! Order! What does this mean? my few remaining brain cells. Meh. You need to look at those little gray cells, uh, Judge. The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Meh. Judge, the answer is simple. <laughs> I don't like it. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Unless he says something I like, it doesn't count. Just look at him. Suspicious. 
Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. He looks like one of the most average Joes you could find. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. I I realized the what the long what yeah. is very fucking common in this game. Oh yes. Series. Especially with Maya, but oh my god. Well, Mr. Wright. What do you think about Mr. Butt's claim that he heard the gunshot before midnight? He's right, because one of the fucking pictures shows that. Yeah. Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight. Good meme! I have proof, bitch. I have <laughs> proof, bitch! <laughs> Intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Yes, I do. Yes, I don't do. -de -do. I, just, I just hope his finger breaks when he snaps his fingers at some point. Say, say the line. Oh. There is a line on the Show me evidence there was a gunshot before midnight. And 1150. Take that. Almost midnight. Throw it in his fucking face. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Ronan. I had to meme. <laughs> Even Nick's lifted, lifted his head up like, what the fuck, Dad? <laughs> He's putting his ears back like, ooh. <laughs> terrible, Dad. Fucking Dad, terrible. stop. Stop. Dad, I know you're being funny, but like, stop. <laughs> this was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her... Uh, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Automatic camera. I almost said atomic. I was like, what the fuck is an atomic camera? Bro. You can't say shit. You fuck up your words just as much as I oh, do. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm well aware. The timestamp on the photo reads December 24th, 11.50 p.m. Oh. Shit, you're right. I don't know anything. Hmm. But there's nothing on the lake at this picture. Exactly. Which is what Larry said. You're on. I, I would hope that's like a mom. Your honor. <laughs> you know, your honor. It's me saying mom. Yeah, when she misses something. No, or she's not here. It's like mom. 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 It's like the disappointed mother. <laughs> the disappointment. Mother. <laughs> come on. Mom, come on. <laughs> The real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It's that why the photograph exists at all. What do you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> Your Honor. This photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Oh shit, I get it now! I remember! <laughs> you need to oh. work on those other gray cells of yours. Oh boy. Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That's why this photograph was taken. In other words, when Mary heard that gunshot, it was most definitely still Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that is the case. Then, where does that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard the gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. Phone, what? Okay. I was going to say, it also triggered after midnight, so there is still another gunshot. Yeah. Your Honor. That night, there were two sets of gunshots, with a twenty, uh, a twenty-five minute pause in between them. Why? Why was I stuttering so much there? How about the fat of that? Why would this be? Judge, don't be fooled. I don't want to hear it because I might lose. The camera was set to respond to loud noises. Yes. You're fucking dumbass. I mean, like, I'm a cunt, but you're a real dumbass. 
There's no proof that loud that the loud noise at 11.50 was a gunshot. Why the witness could have sneezed triggering the camera. No, it wouldn't. Crinkle? <laughs> hey, my nose was clear that night, man. Clear. Hmm. <laughs> That's how fucking warm it is. Half my jug of water from the four liter jug it has been. Make sure you eat enough food or drink Gatorade to kind of level out your electrolytes. Yeah. Well, Mr. Wright, there's no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise? was indeed a gunshot. Didn't want to stop. <laughs> I can see that. Please show the court evidence if you ha if you have any. Evidence? Gun. Actually, the gun itself, because it has three gunshots. And also, the camera could only detect things like like even the poppers didn't work. Well, no, that's that wouldn't be the thing because they're saying like, um, can you prove that there's more than one gunshot? Yeah. You? Which is why the gun. Gun. This is my evidence. The murder weapon! Three bullets missing, bud. Something about this pistol was bothering me. It was bothering me, Your Honor. Both of the witnesses testified yesterday or heard two gunshots. After midnight. Uh, however, the murder weapon was fired three times. When, then, was the last shot fired? Before the first two. Only now I've realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order! Order! Hmm. That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering what exactly did happen on that... on that night... Burr, did my brain. That light, that <laughs> light, night, night on the lake. Who are brains? Oh my god! This is me wondering exactly what did it happen that, that night, night on, on the, the lake. lake. Holy shit! Somehow that turned into a fucking tongue twister, guys. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. If this is true, there were two sets of gunshots separately, but uh, separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50, another 15 minutes after midnight. Yeah. One at 11.50, another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you? Why? Uh-oh. I better think of something quick. Wait a second. Gunshots separated by 25 minutes. Found the heart. The murder was fired twice. Uh, no, it's not that. He's making a reference to something, and I'm yeah. like, "What the fuck are you making a reference to?" <laughs> Scream! Ah, not too loud. That was gonna say, um. <laughs> so, uh, is this like a panic thing or what? Yeah, it's like. He just, it's like he just realized something. He's like, ah! Like, oh shit! I, I, was, I was like, is he panicking because he has no evidence? What the fuck? No, he's panicking because he just fucking realized something. That, that's it's a an aha moment. <laughs> yeah, it's like a eureka moment. Gotcha. But it's like, ah! <laughs> you when you're working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's wrong, Nick? I, I almost wanted to go back to the judge again. <laughs> I have it, I have it! Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Uh, yeah, of course I remember. The murderer in this case had the same idea as the murderer in that case. What do you mean? Maya! Yes? Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> if you don't figure this out now, 
will never overturn Edgeworth's guilty verdict. The murder happened before Edgeworth was on the way. Ta-da! So the question is now, who was the person that flung themselves in the fucking lake? E. That was with Edgeworth that time. I've got a hunch, and I'm gonna run with it. Right. I mean, is this safe? Nah. Safe? We've already gotten a guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. You just watch and let me know if I say anything that sounds fishy, okay? Right, Nick. Your I Honor. I should have said, right, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Wright? The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> so you finally realize the truth. Yeah, fuck you. There can be no other murderer than Miles Edgeworth himself. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong, Mr. Von Karma. There's no Mr. Von Karma. It's just Von Karma. <laughs> A man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on that lake. This was shown by the photographs. The, wit <laughs> the witness's photograph. The, fe the defendant, Edgeworth, and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on that boat. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> there was a gunshot fired in the boat. Robert Hammond fell into the lake. Okay, Elmo. <laughs> no. Elmo sees you. <laughs> you smell different when you're awake. <laughs> Creeper me, Elmo. <laughs> Read! <laughs> <laughs> the distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Bless you? Big sniz. Dog's like, I'm going to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what dad's doing. <laughs> well, the guilty party has to be the other man on that boat. I admit, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. Yes. But this assumes that the victim uh, was shot 15 minutes after midnight. Yeah. That, that's what I'm Ooh. saying. <laughs> Ooh. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? We have the photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. The timestamp on the photo says 15. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then, 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. That's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Uh, you mean we're not just gonna ignore that first shot? I mean, like, that's what I was planning to do with this. Well, that's Von Karma. <laughs> the judge's like, oh. Mr. Wright, are you quite mad? Yes. <laughs> Very. Explain who the two men on the boat are. Edgeworth and the murderer. Ta -da! Ta -da! Of course it was Edgeworth and the murderer. After he... Oh, I thought it said after he murder killed. <laughs> I was like, that's not it. I know that I'm is... seeing this wrong. <laughs> yep. After the murderer killed Robert Hammond at 11.50, he assumed the guise of Mr. Hammond and met Edgeworth. Because that was still a thing Edgeworth was going to go there for, so... Someone had to be there for the, uh, mm -hmm. situation. What? Are you serious? 
Yes. Edric won't tell us why he went to the lake that night. However, I have a hunch. That night, Robert Hammond called Edgeworth to the lake. Now, Edgeworth... Now, Edgeworth didn't know Robert Hammond's face like that well. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the murderer took Robert Hammond's place. I'm not sure what to make of all this. Can you logic that for me? Ludicrous. Mr. Wright. Tell us the name of the murderer, then. The murderer's name? Right. It's... I don't know. We don't know who the murderer is. Actually, I don't know the murderer's name. You don't know? Ha! Huh. Again, you waste my time. Because he never gave us a name. Not once. I don't know because he never told us. Shit. <laughs> the murderer is the caretaker of the boat shop, that old man. At 11.50, he was, he was the one who killed Robert Hammond. The caretaker of the boat shop? Where, where did he do this? There weren't any boats on the lake then. Why would he have to go all that way out on the lake just to shoot someone. May I suggest that the real scene of this crime was not on a boat? What? Well then, where did the murder take place? Show the judge where the murder actually took place. I'm assuming the boat shop because... Larry put the boat away, he would have been near the boat shop when he was yeah. listening to a radio. Of course. Here, of course, the boat shop where he lives. That way, he could meet with the victim without anyone seeing. And also, if the gunshot would have been inside the building, more than likely that camera wouldn't have gone off that easily. Mm. But it was close enough, so it did go off, which makes sense to why it's 11.50. <sighs> Do you have proof that the boat shop was the scene of the crime? Recall Larry's testimony, if you will. I searched the lake. That night, he was out on the lake in a boat, searching for something. He finds it and returns to the boat. Then, just as he's starting to head home, he hears a gunshot. He heard a gunshot, Your Honor. Even though he was wearing headphones at the time. Which means he was close enough, so... Yeah, makes sense. In other words, the gunshot was very, very close by. And where that... Wow. Where and where that it? would be if he had just returned the boat. Where would that be if he just returned the boat? How about about the boat shop? Rabble, 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 rabble. Mr. Wright. What happened that night on Gordon Lake? Please tell the court from the beginning. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, are you sure about this? Nope. <laughs> um, not really. Yep. But I think if I start at the very beginning, and I take it slow, I might just be able to figure this out. Uh. That night, the caretaker of the boat shop called Robert Hammond to his shop. <laughs> that is the face of that, um, that fucking painting with the long yeah. face. <laughs> Very true. This was around 11.50. That was when the gunshot Larry heard was fired. After that, the caretaker put Ro uh, Robert Hammond's coat. Put on Robert Hammond's coat. Which would make sense because Edward doesn't know who the caretaker is. And exactly. he will also not know who uh, Robert Hammond looks like anymore. So. Yeah. He became Robert Hammond. Then, he got in the boat with Edgeworth and went out into the, the middle of the lake. And who fired the pistol on the boat, Mr. Wright? The boat shop caretaker. Next 
to the water. And that's why it was missing. Yep. And if he's left-handed, that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Of course it was the, mur uh, the murderer who shot the pistol. Drop the gun. He shot twice. Both missed Edgeworth on purpose. Wait a minute. Yes? Why would he shoot twice if he didn't mean to hit anyone? Uh, details, details. Know this, Mr. Wright. The moment you run out of explanations is the moment you lose. Tell us why the murderer had to fire twice. To create a witness. I believe he shot twice to create a witness, Your Honor. Create a witness? The murderer lifts his pistol and fires one shot. That ensures that anyone who heard the shot would look at the lake. Indeed, Miss Hart did, exact, uh, did exactly that after hearing the first gunshot. Next. The murderer waits a bit and he fires again. In a mist. And I fired. And I missed. <laughs> fired. And I ate. And I missed. Then. Chucks him in the water. Drops the gun. The murderer jumps off, jumps from the boat himself. Leaving the pistol in the boat uh, behind him. I see. There's someone looking from the edge of the lake. It would appear that one of the one of the men on the boat had sh shot the other. The murderer didn't know about the automatic camera, of course. That's why he shot twice, to draw attention to the boat. Hmm. Once you realize that, everything else falls into place. The boat shop caretaker swam back to his shop. That's when he put Mr. Hammond's wet coat back on the body. I'm not gonna get into biology right now. <laughs> and threw the body <laughs> body into the lake. What were you gonna say? Well, until he said that he threw the body back into the lake, I was gonna talk about what happens to a body. Like, even if someone is shot dead and they fall into the water, there's usually, like, changes to the body from being in the water in that period of time. Yeah. So I was just like, but he wasn't, he didn't, the actual person who died didn't die in the water, so, but throwing it back in may have thrown them off. Yeah, which would make sense, because the body landed in the lake, so he had to throw the body in the lake. To yeah, I was I was just thinking because he fell in, uh, because he was like, oh, he put the wet coat back on him. I'm like, they would have, uh, any person doing an autopsy would know that he didn't drown, though. Or didn't get any water in, in his, his lungs system. Or, yeah, or yeah, exactly. Anything. That's the kind of, I was like, Then mm. it's like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. This is what happened, Your Honor. These are, uh, are the events that transpired that night on Gord Lake. Fuck. <laughs> Hi, everyone. May lift. Bring out the witness from before. The boat shop caretaker, quickly. Larry's like, please let me leave. <laughs> did his job. Yeah. He honestly did his job. Very well. While we're waiting for the caretaker, I would like to ask the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, a few questions. Oh, fuck. Mr. Edgeworth, please take the sand. Mr. Edgeworth, you heard what the defense said. Yes. Well, why did you go to the lake that night? What Wright has said was mostly correct. Astonishingly so, ac actually. <laughs> there were too many SH there, I was like, <laughs> Yes. Several days ago, I received a letter. The letter was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the, the boat shop by the lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. He said he had something very important to discuss with me. Hello, my puppy. No, it's too warm. I'm sorry. Something important? I'm sorry. I can't say what it is. 
what it was. The fuck do you mean, Miles? You know how this works. Your Honor, sir. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Bailiff, you are conducting a trial here. I ask that you remain quiet. The witness has disappeared. He isn't at the boat. He isn't at the boat shop either. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What should I do? Fight him quickly. We cannot allow him to get away. Fucking. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared. Search warrant has already been issued. <laughs> Actually, you know what? He's not he's not as whiny now. He's earned a normal voice. <laughs> hmm. It goes without saying that I cannot declare a verdict unless under these circumstances. I will extend the trial until tomorrow. The final day allowed. Didn't he say that last time? I request that the police department utilize all its forces and find that witness. Well, this is only day two of court. Ah. Yeah. And they only allow three days of court. Per their legal system. Stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a whole fucking thing. <laughs> Am I understood? One more thing. You're a fucking dick. Just who is the boat shop caretaker? Fucking somebody find his real identity, damn it. <laughs> Also, how did he get the fuck in my courtroom without an ID inspection? This is bullshit. You don't need an ID inspection to get in the courtroom. You wouldn't need some kind of identification to just show that you are actually a person that exists on the thing? No. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I think his identity has become very important to this trial. One of those things, like, as a witness, you don't really need to provide ID. You just need to state your name and what you witnessed. Shoes been fuckface, whoever you are. Say the thing. <laughs> say the thing. I want him. I want to know who he is. <laughs> no. <laughs> that should not be said that way. <laughs> That's the point. Oh, God. Do you know how many fun characters I've created by just saying shit that shouldn't be said in certain voices? A lot. Yeah. I know this. <laughs> I've seen I've seen some of your process <laughs> when I'm near you and I'm like, what the What fuck? is happening? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Very well. Court is adjourned. Get out. <laughs> Got another day. Fuck you, Von Karma and your perfect case. My back is sweaty as a pig's ball sack. Bro! I'm not happy. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> These streams are really just a time for me to see how much I can throw you off. No! <laughs> Why? Hey, Nick, you did it! <laughs> <laughs> the sound of a destroyed woman. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fucking roommate. Why? <laughs> Why am I getting a house with him? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we got. <laughs> Whew. At least we got out from under that guilty verdict. Hi, buddy. Hey, what about Larry? That was something else. I always worry when he has these. That's tiny. He might swallow that. That's like not even yours. That's a kitty, That's a kitty ball. Yeah, big rubber ball. Yeah. My G tore up. I don't even know where that ball that was on the rope was. Oh, it's under his blanket. Okay. Yeah, but I want the time. Karma didn't even know what to do with this, with his testimony. Larry really helped us out. Sure. Once I sifted through his unique testimony. Still, he did save us. I just wish our cases weren't so down to the wire all the time. I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like it's us on trial instead of the clients. Instead of our clients, what? He booped it with his nose and went flying. 
he usually does that when he's on my bed and he wants me and to play with him. He'll he'll like have the ball in front of him. He tried and to. He'll boom. Oh no no no! I threw it and he tried to catch it. Ah. But it just banked off his nose. Gotcha. Hey, it's worth it. That is a confused face, man, of what the fuck just happened. I don't understand what's going on. Um, uh, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? Did you say something? I look so pained. But I'm constantly pained. I mean, it looks like you're probably gonna get off, you're going to get off the hook. You can try to smile just a little. Relax. The Botox won't allow me to use those muscles anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I fear it's not over for me yet. What do you mean? Right. There's something that's been troubling me for a long time. Please don't drool on my arm. That's disgusting. Hello. Can you not drool on my mattress? Hello. <laughs> 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 I hold it with my nose. <laughs> yeah. oh, boy. And I don't know whether whether or not to tell you. Edward? No. There's so little time left. I want to tell you. To get it off my chest, but Hmm. Maybe I do need a therapist. Maybe my father was right. His father's dead. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. I can't make up my mind. His eyebrows just... What's this about? It? About? What's this about, Edward? <laughs> German. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know where that came from either. That sounded uh, oddly German. <laughs> what? Do not drop your ball on me, thank you. Are you laughing at my German accent? Yes. Or my attempt of at a German accent. It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. To be, be continued. continued. Hello. Oh my god. I might call it. I, I I'm yeah. calling it early for the reason I've, I've we're really dying. <laughs> it's it's not a fun time. But honestly, it's probably a good place to call it for a I, cooler. I day. literally have like streams going down my face. Yeah, so we might Stop dropping your drooly ball on me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna call this for tonight. Uh, we're gonna call a little bit early than usual, oh but uh, oh no. yeah, we'll pick this up again on a different day. <laughs> Just roll the skull. Maybe on Thursday when it's nice and cool, because that's like one of the really cool days. Let me double check. Munch, munch, munch. Give me the weather. Munch, Instead munch, of a beach. You munch, munch, munch. Uh, yeah. Honestly, Thursday. We should do Phoenix Wright again. Yeah. Because that'd be a nice, cool day to uh, do, like, a pretty large portion. So, besides that, thank you everyone who has been watching the stream tonight. If you like the video and you wish to be updated the next time I pop online, you can always follow me if you have not already. <laughs> also, uh, I do have a YouTube channel if anyone wishes to see my older videos that I've done in the past. And for anyone on YouTube, once I get this edited out, if you wish to see the videos live and unedited, you can always pop on over to my Twitch channel. Uh, the link is in the description on every one of my videos. And if you like the YouTube videos, you can always uh, subscribe and uh, that way you know the next time a new video pops up. But besides that, thank you everyone who has been watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys! Bye! Oh, buddy. <laughs> that is a most like. Huh? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>